Welcome back to the channel, you guys. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. Thank you for joining me with another episode today of wanting something but really not being able to afford it. So we're gonna make shift the best thing we can for the lowest possible cost. Before we get into today's video though, I was showing you guys this shirt the other day. I gave you a little bit of sneak peek. And basically, this is the idea for the shirt. Like, this is what I want. However, he printed it too far over. So I was kind of hoping to have it like here. Basically just like a little bit over, a, a little bit more out of my armpit, I guess you could say, because when I wear it, it kind of tucks away and I don't really like the way it looks. I had a voice crack, I'm still a little bit sick. Don't make fun of me. So it is no secret that I'm going to be starting a brand and what it's going to be called and it's, it's awesome, I'm really excited. There's a lot of background stuff. This is only one of the shirts. Um, there's gonna be a lot of stuff available for you guys. A lot of merch is going to be coming. I don't really find it necessary to keep it a secret, hush hush, and not tell anybody, and then all of a sudden just drop it. Maybe that's cool for some of you guys, but I think, I think you guys like it more when I tease you with a little bit, get you a little bit all hyped up, and then all of a sudden just hit you with it one day. So get ready because it's coming and it's gonna be sick. So for today's video, you guys can tell we're in the bedroom. And my toolbox is actually just chilling on the ground over here. It has been since basically we arrived in BC and I know Courtney is some kind of goddess because she lets me keep my toolbox in the bedroom. So be sure to go down and comment Courtney's a goddess because she really is. I know you guys see a garage in some of my videos, but uh, we rent and the garage is paid for in someone else's rent and they don't want to share it with us. No big deal, um, but I don't get to put my tools in the garage. So I need to get them off the floor. I don't really like them down here, but we have a pretty decent sized bedroom. You know what, while we're in the bedroom, let me just, let me just show you this. We were, we were thinking about getting some art, okay? Cause we have like this huge wall with nothing on it. So instead of going out and spending like a couple hundred bucks on art, we went out and spent $50. In that $50, we got a canvas, paintbrushes, and paints. And then we went out and spent 20 bucks on two bottles of wine, got drunk, and painted a fucking masterpiece in our bedroom. Like I know you knew I was talented, but boy, look at what we have here. The finest little mountain details, to the white ring around the sun, to the little green flecks of grass. I had no idea we could do such good things with paint and a canvas. I didn't know we were both so talented, but turns out we're talented. If you guys like it, that's good. I'm not gonna ever do it again, because it took like two whole nights of painting and drawing and stuff. And if you followed me on Instagram, you would have known because you would have seen the whole process. But I don't know, I thought it was pretty cool. Let me know what you guys think. Anyways, I've been on like a GG Craigslist, whatever, looking for free stuff because I didn't want to buy anything. I was looking mainly for like a wood table with some solid wood legs, framing, something I could use to put a toolbox on top of. And I found something that I personally think is a little bit better than that. So this is some kind of table, uh, like legs and framing from Ikea actually, but this is one of the more solid things I think Ikea has ever made. Usually Ikea things are super duper junk. Like it's a pretty solid unit. So, we're gonna make it into a pretty solid workbench. Now, nothing in the world's free, so probably for the next break, you have to spend a little bit of money. I actually happen to have a bunch of two by four. Don't fucking do shit like that. I had a heart attack, because he, Courtney's bugging me because this, the road mic video might go. When there's Wi-Fi or like a phone signal or something near it, it has this really weird clicking noise, don't know how to get rid of it, so I unplugged the Wi-Fi to make the video because the Wi-Fi router's in the bedroom, and Courtney won't stop leaving me alone because she has nothing to do. You should just go paint your nails or something. What? Girls do that. I don't even know where I was. I think uh, nothing's free, so basically you're gonna have to get, I don't know what you guys have. I had two by fours laying around outside my house. If not, they're like three bucks each, and you probably could get away with one and a half, two, you might not even need two by fours. In my case, I'm gonna use two by fours. Basically the idea is I'm gonna put a two by four here, here, and here, and then screw the wood on top of it. And that's gonna be like a support for the tool bench, cause, or the toolbox, sorry, cause the toolbox is a little bit thinner um, and a little bit shorter than this. So the weight will be kind of just pushing into the wood. So I'm just gonna run some beams just to give it a little extra support, nothing crazy. It's already pretty strong and I have some pretty strong wood. But if you don't, two by fours are very, very cheap. So that really won't affect you. And then what I'm doing is I'm using three sheets of like six by 10 pine. So six feet by 10 inches. Um, this is like 26 inches or something. So we got 30 inches across, it'll overhang a little bit on each side. Six feet is a little bit too big to fill the gap behind me, but we're just gonna use the extras for some kind of arts and crafts or something. For me to get that pine was $20. I could have got cheaper wood, I could have got different wood, I could have got more boring wood. I like the pine, I didn't have to spend money on anything else, I already have all the tools and everything, so total project cost, $20. This table already has like three holes cut out across the top, and that's for, I guess, whatever wood would naturally go on this from Ikea. So I'm gonna use these three as like a marker kind of thing, and basically I'm drilling holes that doesn't have to be there, but I'm just using them as a guide. So one, two, and three holes, 
and that's where my 2x4s are gonna run. And I actually don't have a bit that it's good enough to go through the metal. I tried and I kind of ruined one of my bits. So what I'm using is just a little one inch self tapper and I'm just putting it in the drill and self tapping it right through as if this is what was going in and then just backing it out and that's gonna make a perfect clearance hole for what I screw in. Basically self tapper, I'm just gonna line it up with this hole. Think outside the box. This has drilled all my holes successfully, still sharp. I'm just gonna uh, measure and make sure that I cut them appropriately so that they fit in between the gaps. We're just gonna put screws in. I think just one nice three inch long heavy duty screw. That's what I'm using. That should be enough just to help take some of the weight off. Um, should be enough. So we're just gonna put one, two, three, four, five, six screws in, cut these guys to fit, and uh, then we should be ready just to throw the top on. Sorry, it's like 3 a.m. Sorry for the bad lighting. We'll get the wood cut really, 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 really quick. Back in the palace, bitch. The plan in Robbie's head is to just lay these out like this and fasten them straight down and uh, the, the main key thing here was yes for the support but also a place to fasten these so these will get some screws in them make them look very very nice and I think we will be uh, like done. So my game plan is to be like flush with this in the back that way this can butt right up to a wall and then I'll have the overhang in the front because that's what you're gonna see and then the planks can screw into the 2x4s and that'll just give it some extra rigidity. I think we're gonna have a perfecto tool bench. <laughs> I did play myself a little bit because I forgot to cut this to fit in there first. So I'm gonna have to mark this at that width and just cut it in the bedroom. Boom, and just like that, look at this sexy tableau. I guess something I never explained to you guys is why I did this, why I don't even have the bottom half of this toolbox. And basically when I moved here from Ontario, I was like, okay, I have enough tools to fill the top half and enough tools to kind of fill the bottom half, but not really full and uh, and I had to pay to ship everything and it's heavy, right? Like toolboxes are heavy and I didn't want to pay to ship a huge bottom piece that I didn't know if I was going to be able to fill. I didn't know what was going to happen when I got here. Turns out should have done it, but you live and you learn. Anyways, this bottom half is sitting at home in Ontario. For those of you that are wondering, maybe one day I will buy the bottom half to this, but that's not the point. The point is I wanted the tool bench. I wanted to be able to come in here and just work on a couple projects and like, look how good this works. So like main thought process is now I come over here, open up all these drawers. They're all within arm's reach. I'm not like bending all the way down to the floor to pick stuff up. I can put stuff like my car jacks and my jack and stuff underneath the table. And right here, there's plenty of space to unveil products, baby. Look at all these guys. I told you yesterday, plenty of colors on the way, and I was not lying. Now, we're not going to manufacture all these, like, in big numbers, because that's just ridiculous, and we don't have time for that. I think I'm going to keep all the white ones. So I like the ones with the white backdrop. So you got, like, white and gold, white and black. This is the original key tag. I think we're going to keep all the blacks. So you got, like, black and yellow, black and gold, black and blue. This black and gold is actually one of my favorite ones this black and gold and where is it the blue and gold but yeah we haven't decided which ones we're going to fully mass produce yet i'm thinking all the whites uh like all the white backgrounds all the black backgrounds maybe some blues i don't know there's some there's some pretty cool color combos in there and uh these are just two of the things that are dropping in march this was one of the first things i ever gave out to do with my channel that was when i had my uh, first ever subscriber meetup and then as well as these shirts and there's gonna be so much more that you guys just don't know about i'm just giving you guys a little taste of what's to come anyways it is way past bedtime it is time to shut this all down and give courtney her wi-fi back so she stops complaining and she can do her internet stuff i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys are as stoked with the turnout as i am i think what i'm actually going to do can you see it in the camera yeah you can you can see these pieces coming down so i'm going to buy a nice piece of two by four and just strip it across the front just so it looks good so it hides like these little underbelly ones that's not happening in today's video or anytime soon because i don't feel like doing it um, but it's going to be like a decorative piece probably maybe i don't really know thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video i will catch you next time peace out and stay committed